Hey there, Steeler Nation. Flip Fisher coming at you. What I'm going to go over real quick, uh, just on the short video, is uh, the Steelers practice squad. Uh, we signed 14 of the 16 members today. Uh, the other two are the other two spots supposedly are going to be for Wendell Smallwood, the running back, and uh, Devlin Hodges. Uh, let's let's go over um, who they are. So the list includes uh, six defensive players, uh, cornerback uh, Trajan Bambi, uh, safety Antoine, Ant Antoine Brooks, and I'm going to go over in more detail after I finish the list. Uh, Curtis Riley, uh, linebacker Jerome Elliott, and defensive lineman Daniel McCullers and Henry Mondo. Uh, on offense, the team signed seven players, uh, receiver Deion Kane and Amara uh, Dorba. Uh, I have no idea if I said that right. Hopefully, uh, running backs. Uh, running back uh, Trey Edmonds, tight end Kevin Raider, offensive lineman Anthony Coyle, and Derwin uh, Derwin James, and Jerron Jones. The team also added punter <laughs> oh boy, Carlos Waitman. To the practice squad you know i why why put a punter puntering punting is you know it's probably a lot tougher but geez you know can't you really pick one off the street do you really need to waste you know a practice squad spot on a punter i, I so i'm baffled by that uh, talking about punters, I'll throw this out there really quick. Uh, the Steelers still have Jordan Berry as Colquitt uh, has not signed. I'm not sure what the holdup on that is. Uh, hopefully we'll get some more information on that on Monday. The three veterans, McCullers, Riley, and Elliott, they're going to earn 12000 per week uh, because they are veterans. Uh, the rest will earn 8400 uh, this is going, the practice squad's going to count somewhere close to uh, 2.5 million for the season. Uh, you know, so here, here's the guys, uh, just little snippets that I threw together. Bandy is an undrafted rookie free agent from Miami. Uh, Brooks was a uh, 2026 rounder out of Maryland. Uh, Kane, we poached him off the practice squad from Indy. Uh, he, he did play in three games last year, five for 72 line. Uh, Coyle was an undrafted rookie uh, in 2018 and spent time with Houston and Atlanta, and he also played in the XFL. Uh, Dorbo, he was a uh, former third rounder from Seattle, and he spent time on uh, Pittsburgh's practice squad last year before getting promoted. Um, late in the season. He did not play, though. Uh, Edmonds played in 11 games last year um, after starting on the practice squad. Uh, you know, he did have a good game in Indy, 12, 12 carries for 73 yards. But, you know, don't be fooled by that because his other 10 carries were for 19 yards. You know, there's, there's a reason why he's where he is. I, you know, I consider Edmonds really probably more of a fullback than – than a true running back. Uh, Elliot, Elliot's bounced around. Um, this is his third team. Uh, he, you know, last year he bounced around uh, between Pittsburgh's practice squad and the regular team. Uh, Derwin Gray, uh, former 2019 seventh rounder out of Maryland, spent uh, last year on on the the Steelers practice squad. Uh, Jones signed with the Giants in two, 2017, but was released. Uh, spent the season on Seattle's practice squad, where he uh, actually converted from defensive lineman to offensive lineman. Can the Steelers work, uh, you know, some magic with this guy? Can they? Uh, will he be the next Alejandro Villanueva to make such a a transition? Uh, here's an interesting little tidbit with him. He was a first-round draft pick last year by in the XFL. 
I, I found that interesting. Uh, Big Dan McCullers, uh, you know, he's actually been in the league since 2014 when he was drafted in the sixth round by the Steelers. But I am glad that he is on the practice squad. Um, I Would I be surprised to see him on the regular team at some point and Davis dumped? No, I wouldn't be surprised by that. Uh, Mondo spent last season on the Steelers practice squad. Uh, you know, he was, uh, he was on the Saints practice squad for, in 2018 for, yep, one game. Uh, I did an article on him last year and, you know, I did not see anything, uh, special out of Mondo. Uh, Kevin Rader, another guy I did an article on, uh, maybe I'll see if I can find those and put the links, uh, down below in the description if, if y'all want to read a couple of them. Uh, out of Youngstown State last year. Uh, you, you know, he, he another undrafted guy signed with the Raiders. Uh, sorry, signed with the Packers. But he didn't make it. And he was cut and not brought to their practice squad. He's not really, not, not the type of player that we would seriously want. Um, Curtis Riley, uh, kind of an interesting, you know, he has bounced around and then I felt this is the Steelers are his fourth team, but you know, he, he does have 43 games. He's played in 19 starts. Uh, I believe he's got four or five, uh, interceptions. Uh, most of those were, were, uh, when he started, uh, 16 games with the Giants in 2018. But, you know, he got booted off uh, the 53-man roster when uh, he, when the Steelers signed Sean Davis. Uh, and last and least, uh, Waitman. Yep, yep, he, he's a punter. That's all we're going to go there. So there it is. There's the uh, there's the practice squad in a nutshell. You know, I'm just not going to spend a lot of time on these guys. You know, uh, it's just they're 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 not even fringe players. I mean, they're they're on the practice squad for a reason. You know, they're they're not good players. You know, we don't want to see any of these players on the regular team. You know, once if one of these guys hits the regular team. It really means that, you know, injuries have hit or, you know, COVID. Yeah, we don't we don't want to see any of these guys promoted at all anytime during the season. So I'm going to I'll do a live stream uh, tomorrow night at uh, around 9 p.m. Eastern. So be on the lookout for that tomorrow. Well, I should say Monday, which is tomorrow. Uh, the Steelers will come out with their official depth chart still baffled why they don't actually have a depth chart in the entire off season makes no sense but I, I will be doing that tomorrow night so uh, you know come and join will be a good time enjoy doing live streams always fun interacting with other Steeler fans all right all this has been Flip Fisher. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you think I did all right. Hey, I'm perfectly happy if you give me a thumbs down too. Interaction's good. And be sure to smash that bell to get notified when I put up new content or when I go live. All right. Thanks all. Laters.